Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet's teenage daughter is making key creative contributions to her dad's movies. In fact, the entire clan is already making their mark on the world, and these famous parents couldn't be prouder. Lisa Bonet and Jason Momoa met in 2004, but before then, she was married to singer-songwriter Lenny Kravitz from 1987 to 1993. One year after tying the knot, they welcomed their daughter Zoe Isabella. It was unexpected, but Zoe's birth ended up being a turning point for both of her parents, especially Bonet, who once admitted in an interview, "...having Zoe saved my life. It was my wake-up call. There were so many things I didn't want to pass on to her, so I really made a decision to change." After getting divorced, Bonet and Kravitz remained amicable co-parents. Nearly two decades after Zoe Kravitz was born, Lisa Bonet became a mom once again when she and Jason Momoa welcomed a daughter named Lola Iolani. For Momoa especially, this was a dream come true. Ever since I was a little boy, I always wanted to be a father. Momoa was in Canada in July 2007 when Bonet's water broke a little earlier than they expected, so he pulled all the strings he could to fly back to the United States and made it to his wife's side just in time. As he revealed to Esquire, I had about two hours with her in the tub, and my baby girl was born. Fast forward to the 2020s, and now Lola is a teenager with a father who's terrified of her burgeoning love life. As he admitted to Men's Health in 2020, I'm not going to do well with it. I'll just hate it if she brings home some dip bad boy. I'm like, if you find a man who treats you better than I treat your mom, good luck. Lola is a saint! She is gonna be a nun! It wasn't long after welcoming Lola that Momoa and Bonet expanded their family, as their son, Nekoa Wolf Monica Wapo Namaka Ea, arrived in December 2008. Wolfie, as he's affectionately known, has unlocked a new side of his dad. Jason Momoa grew up without his own dad, as his parents split up soon after he was born, so he didn't have the benefit of a fatherly role model. But naturally, he still wants to do right by his son. He admitted to InStyle in 2020, I didn't know what it takes to be a dad. And I don't want to just tell my son, because I said so. I really want to connect, and I want him to be vulnerable and open. It seems that Jason Momoa may have just hacked the code to being a cool stepdad. As he revealed to Men's Health in 2020, I love her husband. I love her dad. I hope and pray my daughter is that talented and loving and open and close to her family. Momoa and Zoe Kravitz are so close that they even have matching tattoos in the form of a French phrase that translates to always be drunk. Even amidst his separation from her mom, Momoa's love for his stepdaughter remains. While attending the New York premiere of 2022, choose the Batman to support her as she played Catwoman, he told Entertainment Tonight, "...we're just so proud. We're very excited to just be here. It's still family, you know?" So it's really exciting to see like her on this big screen playing a superhero. Even though they're only teenagers, Lola and Wolfie Momoa have already made several notable red carpet appearances alongside their parents and big sister. They also reportedly spend a lot of time with their dad on his movie sets. As Jason Momoa revealed on the Australian radio show Fitzy and Whippa in 2021, we're doing Aquaman 2 right now, and they can be on the set and learn the stunts, and we've got some cool little surprises. And they just love it. They got to be there on Justice League, and Wolfie's wearing the cowl, and she's wearing the tiara from Wonder Woman, so I think the kids are really happy. However, Momoa doesn't exactly want his kids to follow in his footsteps, as he admitted to Entertainment Tonight in 2021, "...if they really want to, maybe. But I don't want them to get into acting. It's very hard on people. I'm tough enough to handle it, but I wouldn't want to put someone I love into that." I'll try my damnedest to keep them out of it. Since making her on-screen acting debut in the 2007 film No Reservations, Zoe Kravitz has continued to make her presence felt in Hollywood. But there have also been some sacrifices and heartbreaks along the way. One particularly stinging example was when she was turned down for The Dark Knight Rises, as she was reportedly told that she was too urban for the part. In 2022, she told The Guardian, "...being a woman of color and being an actor, and being told at that time that I wasn't able to read because of the color of my skin, and the word urban being thrown around like that, that was what was really hard about that moment." Eventually, Eventually, though, Kravitz would get to join the world of the Caped Crusader, as she starred as Selena Kyle, aka Catwoman, in 2022's The Batman. When she's not busy making movies and TV shows, Zoe Kravitz has had some notable romantic flings. From 2011 to 2013, she dated U-star Penn Badgley. 
They lived together in New York, but ultimately split up amicably. She then started dating actor Carl Glusman after meeting him at a bar, and they went public with their relationship in October 2016. Two years later, he popped the big question, and in June 2019, they tied the knot in a secret ceremony. Alas, their time together ultimately didn't last very long, as Kravitz filed for divorce in December 2020. Then, in August 2021, it was reported that she was dating Channing Tatum, and in late 2023, it was announced that they were engaged. They may not have the same dad, but Zoe Kravitz has an unbreakable bond with her half-siblings, Lola and Wolfie. In addition to her acting career, Zoe fronts an electro-pop band called Lola Wolf, and she came up with the band's name by combining those of her brother and sister. As she noted to Grazia in 2014, they're six and seven, so they don't really care. Maybe one day they will, but right now, they don't care at all. The blended family often posts loving photos on social media, and Zoe has frequently been spotted hanging out in public with Lola and Wolfie. Jason Momoa is a proud native of Hawaii, who has remained strongly connected to his heritage. He was born in Honolulu, but he moved to his mother's hometown in Iowa when he was six months old. Still, he stayed in touch with his roots, telling CNN in 2019, It's my home. I'm Hawaiian. It's my nationality. That pride is evident in his son's full name of Nakoa Wolf Manakawapo Namakaea. Nakoa translates to warrior, while Namakaea is Jason's native Hawaiian name and means all-knowing eyes. As for Wolfie's middle name, Mana means strength or spirit, Kua means rain, and Po means dark. In 2016, Jason Momoa employed the help of his kids for a short film with outdoor apparel company Carhartt. Titled Canvas of My Life, the film mirrors Momoa's real life as a father who teaches his kids to revel in nature and find true happiness in art. I want to give them my eyes. They will know art. They'll paint. They'll sculpt. Similarly, Momoa celebrated Father's Day in 2019 with another short film featuring Lola and Wolfie. Entitled Where the Wild Stomped In, it features Jason and his kids building a motorcycle. As the actor explained to People magazine, it's just really my story. It's something that's very dear for me. And just being able to do that with my children, I never really grew up with that. It was just a broken motor, but it inspired a dream that taught your father to share this moment with you. Jason Momoa's Hollywood responsibilities keep him plenty busy, but he also always makes sure he has time for his family. While his relationship with Lisa Bonet has been largely private, Momoa takes a somewhat different approach when it comes to his kids as they're all over his social media. On Lola's 11th birthday in 2018, Momoa shared some pictures of her and declared that the day she was born was the greatest day of his life. And even on non-birthdays, he doesn't hold back from letting the world know how much his kids mean to him. Like one time in August 2017, when he wrote on Instagram, I simply love you more than I love life itself. And when his stepdaughter hosted Saturday Night Live in March 2022, he declared, I'm so proud of you, you killed it. Being the dad of a teenage daughter is an often complicated and challenging experience, and Jason Momoa has made it abundantly clear that he's no exception. He's mentioned in multiple interviews that he hasn't exactly been looking forward to his daughter Lola potentially bringing home less than desirable boyfriends. But that doesn't mean that he isn't eager to continue spending time with her, and it sounds like the feeling is mutual. That was evident in November 2022, when Lola admitted to spending a lot of time with her famous father on the set of his Netflix fantasy flick, Slumberland. She wasn't just there for moral support, as it turned out that she also made a rather important creative contribution. Me and my friends choreographed a dance routine to Don't Start Now by Dua Lipa, and then my dad loved the dance, and so he put it in the movie. Some teenagers might be embarrassed whenever their parents dance, but Lola Momoa was perfectly willing to let millions of viewers watch her dad bust a move. In January 2022, Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet announced their separation. As they revealed in a joint statement on Instagram, we have all felt the squeeze and changes of these transformational times. A revolution is unfolding, and our family is feeling and growing from the seismic shifts occurring. And so we share our family news that we are parting ways in marriage. It wasn't until January 2024, though, that Bonet officially filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. Shortly afterwards, the divorce proceeded 
proceedings were finalized, with the two actors granted joint legal custody of their two children. According to court documents, it was determined that Bonet and Momoa would share the living expenses of Lola and Wolfie, as well as all expenses relating to their health, education, and welfare. However, in the case of vacations with one parent, that parent would be expected to solely bear the cost of the trip. Additionally, neither Bonet nor Momoa requested child or spousal support from the other. Navigating a divorce can be difficult, but for Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet, it doesn't seem like too much has changed. While Bonet has mostly remained out of the spotlight since the separation, it definitely appears that Momoa has remained just as close as he always was to his two kids. In December 2023, he opened up about the holiday season when he told E! News, I'm always on the road, so I'm just going home and being with my babies. I'll go climbing, be with my kids, see friends and family, and just eat, relax. In January 2024, one day after the divorce was finalized, Momoa attended a Los Angeles showing of the environmental documentary Common Ground, alongside Lola and Wolfie. Momoa has also maintained a close relationship with his now former stepdaughter. Following the news of Zoe Kravitz's engagement to Channing Tatum, a source close to the family confirmed to People magazine that Momoa was ecstatic for the couple. As the insider revealed, the engagement was happy news for Jason. He loves both Channing and Zoe. He thinks they are a great couple. Jason is their biggest supporter.